Hello everyone. My name is Vipul Jain and today in this video I am going to show you that how you can export your data to a CSV file in Power Apps. So I will be leveraging both Power Apps and Power Automate to export the data to a CSV file. So in this video I will be using Power Apps, a simple button in Power Apps and on click of that button I will be calling the Power Automate, okay, and finally saving the file in a OneDrive. So let's see this in action. So I am in the Power Apps environment. You can see the same project which we are using for this Power Apps Crash Course series. And I've created a separate screen to showcase the demo that how you can export your data to a CSV file. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a button simple i'm going to add a button on this screen and i will change the text of this button to let's say export to csv all right so on the click of this button what we will do that we will call the power automate flow and we will save the file in onedrive okay so the first and foremost thing as usual you have to make a connection with your data source and for this particular video, I will be using a static data, a static Excel file, which is saved in my local system. So let's make a connection, first of all, to our data source. So go to add data, click on add data and search for import. Here you can see import from Excel. So I want to import the data, which is there in my local system. I want to add the data which is there in a manufacturer's table. So there are two tables in my Excel or two sheets in my Excel basically, devices and manufacturers. So I'm going to click on connect. So it will make a connection to the data source. So before moving to the Power Automate and create the flow, I want to showcase you the data which is there, which is the static data in the Excel. So it's manufacturer title, logo, headquarters, store and so on. So this is the data which with which I have made a connection in my Power Apps. So on the click of this button, I want to call the Power Automate, okay? So basically we will call the Power Automate on the click of this button. For this, we have to create the Power Automate now in the from the Power Apps Studio itself. So let's do it. So on the left hand side, you see there is an option called Power Automate. Click on that and you can click on the Add Flow, Create New Flow. So the moment you click on Create New Flow, a screen will open which will allow you to create a blank flow or from the predefined, some predefined templates. So I click on create from blank. The moment you create your flow from the blank, a Power Apps trigger has already been added for your flow. Okay, let's rename this flow very quickly. So I say export to CSV. So this is the, just the title or the name of the flow which I've created. Now add a new step. And first of all, I would take the input. I would take the input from the Power Apps. So for that, I am using a data operation. You can also use a data operation of the type Compose. Okay. And here input will be ask in Power Apps. So basically what I'm doing is Power Apps is the trigger. This is the by default trigger because we are creating the Power Automate flow from within the Power Apps. Now what I've added a data operation of the type Compose. And input is whatever data which will be coming in the JSON format because Power Automate, please remember, only understand the JSON format type of data. So whatever JSON format data will be coming to the Power uh, Automate from the Power Apps, this is my input data. So I can rename this function as maybe rename this action uh, probably from compose to let's say content. Okay, so this is the data operation which I've added. Now I'm going to add a new step to create the CSV table. So basically what you can do is you can add an action which is create CSV table. Now from where you want to create the CSV table. So basically we have to create the table and then finally we will export that data to a OneDrive location. Okay. So create CSV table here I can go to the expression and here I can use the formula or the function JSON. Okay, and here what you can do is that what you have to take as a dynamic content the output from the previous action. So I say JSON 
output contents i click on okay so here i will repeat again this is the trigger this is the data operation for taking the input from the power apps and here i am creating the table in a json format from the input which i have received from the uh, power apps and finally what you have to do is you have to add another action to create a file create file in onedrive so there is an action which is called create file for onedrive for business please remember i am using onedrive for business i click on create file now this is my onedrive location and the folder is power apps where i want to create the file in onedrive location so folder path i will go to select the root and in the root i in the root uh, in the root folder i am going to choose the folder where i want to create the data so that is power apps so power apps is the folder location in onedrive where i want to create the file now file name file name simply i want to create uh, different files based on the date time stamp and something like that so i can use the expression utc now and i click on okay and utc now that is the dot csv extension which i am adding simply okay and for the file content what will be the file content which will be the output of your previous step so output of the previous step which is create csv table so that's all your flow has been created now you can click on saving the flow so click on save now you see the flow is getting saved and now i have been returned back to the power apps location or power apps screen now what will happen now export to csv has been added to my power apps studio now basically the last step what you have to do is that on the click of this button we want to call the power automate which we have created right so on the on select property of this button what you can do is so you can say export to csv dot run so export to dot export to csv is your name of the power automate dot run will allow you to call the power automate flow from the click of the button now we have to pass the data in the json format so i am using a function json and json will ask you that what data you want to pass so my data is in the manufacturer's data source which i have used and i have made a connection to the manufacturers now do you want to include the binary data so for that you have to specify the format also so json format dot include binary data so you can say that yes hey include the binary data while passing the data from power apps to the power automate so that's it uh, you have created the power apps you have created the power automate flow and on the click of the button what will happen that whatever data is there in the manufacturer excel the data source that will be converted to csv and will be saved in the one drive location so let's see this in action so i'm running the app now i click on export dot export to csv button and you see here if i navigate to the one drive location just refresh the screen uh, you will see a new file will be created here as a csv file so your data has been exported the manufacturer's list or the manufacturer data if i click on this csv file which has been generated using power apps and power automate flow so you will see uh, you can find the complete data headquarter logo manufacturer id store and title all the columns and data has been exported very correctly to the csv file so that's all for this video keep watching keep commenting on my videos thank you